sounded like you just had a three-course roast dinner. One of the indications that someone might have an internal consumer of drugs is actually burping. My suspicions are raised a little bit. At Manchester Airport, an international flight has just arrived with over 200 passengers on board. UK border officers are scanning and x-raying bags for any unusual signs. This one's coming in from Montego Bay in Jamaica. So it's of interest to us from a drugs angle. You get cocaine and cannabis both produced and imported from the Caribbean. So basically any flights from the Caribbean are of interest for, for drugs. As passengers disembark, Officer Liz is on the lookout for any suspected smugglers. Hello, sir. You're travelling on your own today? Yes. Can you just bring your bag this way for me, please? Where have you come in from? Jamaica. Yeah, can you just bring your bag this way, please? Do you have a passport and ticket? Are you aware it's illegal to import certain things into the UK, such as controlled drugs, indecent material, yes. offensive weapons? Yes. Do you have anything like that with you? No. Do you have anything to smoke or drink? OK, what's in your duty-free boxes there? OK, so that's the drink. So how much rum have you got? It is uh, six bottles. Six bottles of rum. OK. Do you have a key for this, please? He's way over his allowance for spirits, and Liz is suspicious about the man's denial. She decides to X-ray some of the goods in his baggage for any hidden drugs. The gentleman's just got some fruit and some bottles. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm just x-raying it just to make sure that um, there's nothing concealed within the fruit or the bottles. Sometimes I've had little packages that are stuck behind the labels in the bottles. So I'm just checking there's nothing concealed there. They all look fine, so. He's got quite a lot of bottles of rum cream. I'm actually going to test one of the bottles just to make sure there's no cocaine in solution. What's just happened here is I've just been swabbing various things uh, as I've been going through the baggage. I've just tested the swab and it's actually come up with a small trace of heroin. OK, now that's quite unexpected really because um, the sort of drugs you'd be expecting to find from Jamaica uh, would be cocaine and cannabis. So it's only a small trace and I'm just going to see if I can replicate the hit to see where it's come from and then I might ask them about it. Having found the trace, Liz is now on the lookout for any behavioural indicators the man may be smuggling. OK, I had a good meal on the plane. Yeah, the meal was terrible. The meal was terrible? Yeah. What was it? Uh, what did I have? Um, was, um, some powdered eggs. Some, some powdered eggs? Is that it? Yeah. All right. But it's not just the man's manners causing Liz concern. It sounded like you just had a three-course roast dinner. Yeah. One of the indications that someone might have an internal consumer of drugs is actually burping. Um, and I, just, I don't know whether you caught that, but he just gave a very loud burp and he's not eating very much, so, you know, my suspicions are raised a little bit. He's also not got a lot of money. He's got £5 to get a taxi to somewhere, which he might get there for £5, but I'll just carry on, see what we get. The last thing to check is the passenger's rum. Can you pass me your, your juicy free boxes up, please? Cheers. OK, this isn't rum, is it? This isn't rum, is it? What is it? OK, just wait there for one second. Liz's intuition and patience has finally paid off as she finds a large package stuffed inside the duty-free rum cases. OK. Obviously, what I was expecting to find in the duty-free boxes was rum. OK. This clearly isn't rum. Uh, so, obviously, I suspect it to be drugs. What am I going to do now? Cuss into there. OK, and what we've got here... It's herbal cannabis by the look of it. I'm actually going to arrest the gentleman. I'm going to ask my colleague to test it, and I'm going to just take him into a private room and arrest him. Just want to take a seat there, please. OK. OK, I suspect this to be cannabis. OK. So yeah. the time is uh, 08.33. I'm arresting you on suspicion of being knowingly concerned in the illegal importation of a controlled drug. 
As the man begins to realize the consequences of his actions, Liz gets the results back from the tests on the substance. All that red color there, that's confirmation that it's cannabis. Obviously, the, the, the indicators there that he's nervous and all the rest of it um, are still there. We now know why he's nervous, because he's got this. But I can't discount the possibility that he may be carrying drugs internally as well. But the man is less than happy at the suggestion that he may have swallowed drugs. I need to be sure that you don't have drugs on you, you know, inside you. Are you OK with that? No, because I have nothing in my stomach. No, because you've got nothing in your stomach, right. If you refuse to have um, the compass, you will be monitored and we'll have to wait for nature to take its course and you'll have to have two clear motions. With the man's reluctance to have an X-ray, Liz is adamant they'll find out whether he swallowed drugs one way or the other. OK, we're going to take you upstairs now to our custody suite, OK? So uh, if you'd like to follow us, you can push your trolley. OK, you all right? The man's frustration is understandable. Liz has intercepted a huge amount of cannabis. It was actually quite a shock when I saw um, when I saw the, the tape packages. Um, I wasn't expecting it. I just thought he'd actually got too much rum. The packages contain more than eight kilos of cannabis, with a street value of more than twenty-five thousand pounds. In Gatwick, the sniffer dog teams are targeting a plane that's just arrived from St. Lucia. Following a number of recent cocaine seizures, the intelligence unit has identified a possible smuggler on this flight. The woman is kept under surveillance as she passes through the airport. She's about the eighth or ninth one going on. That's fine. Thank you very much, madam. Not all intel targets turn out to be smugglers, so sniffer dogs like Sam are the quickest way to work out if someone has been in contact with drugs. Sam picks up a scent, but can't pinpoint the source, so now it's up to Kevin to search and question the suspect. Hello, where, where have you arrived from this morning? St. Lucia. St. Lucia. Like come over with me very quickly. As Kevin begins the search, the woman seems edgy and her body language is far from friendly. Oh, <laughs> I hope she shouldn't take too long. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, we do get... Oh, I know you did that. Yeah, of course you don't. Yeah. I don't, I don't believe this. Yeah. I work hard for my living. Yeah. Unfortunately, what, what we don't know is what somebody's probably looks like. Not, Me, I don't believe this. No. I never get stopped no. since I'm traveling. Yeah. Sometimes they pick the wrong person. Kevin's beginning to think she isn't carrying drugs and is just upset at being delayed. Right, I'll do a quick swab of your bag, OK? Yeah, a quick drug swab should find out. She looks all right. I'll, yeah, I'll swab the bag. So no, no, no. The bag swab gives a surprising result. I'll see you to check the bag fully. I was hoping to get you on your way quickly. I'm getting a contamination for cocaine. Mm. Right, no, 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 let me explain, right? Just well, you, yeah, I'll, I'll need but to I do anything, yeah. yeah. yeah just it's a bit longer, that's all. Okay. Okay. Right. The suspect's becoming impatient, but the coke hit combined with the intelligence means she isn't going anywhere just yet. I'm just going to put the bag through the X-ray. What we're looking for is concealments. It looks OK, it doesn't seem that heavy, but... Having ruled out all other causes of the coke hits, Kevin's last job is to x-ray the case. Yeah, there's some sort of thing here. It could well just be part of the bag makeup. I just did a check in the middle of the bag, just about there, there's nothing there. The anomaly is just a bar of chocolate. And that's what came up on the x-ray. They found cocoa, but not cocaine. The woman is now free to go. That's what's in there. Could you, could you, yeah, because the lady wants to go on the way, actually. Thank you. 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 Thank the search finds nothing. And despite Kevin's best efforts... Oh, dear. Right. It's not easy. Right. The passenger isn't impressed. Thank you. After an X-ray, it was revealed that the cannabis smuggler had not swallowed any packages. He's currently awaiting trial.